Hello, welcome. In this unique video, I'm going to take you through the two-stroke engine as if you were a molecule of fuel. So you will be getting inside the engine, all the way from the fuel tank, through the fuel lines, down through the carburetor, through the engine itself, and out through the exhaust. This is a totally unique and fun way of visualising how an engine works. And it will certainly increase your knowledge and understanding. And now let's imagine we're inside the fuel tank, and in comes the fuel. And now let's also imagine that we're part of this fuel, we're a molecule of this fuel. Suddenly, the engine has started and there's a suction pressure pulling us towards the fuel filter. But the tiniest globules of dirt and crud would show up on the filter's fabric like mountains. And whilst they find it difficult to pass through the filter, as long as there's not too much of this crud here, we as fuel molecules can flow right by. And as we're passing through the fuel filter, all of the network of holes in its fabric would undoubtedly look like a network of openings and turns, until we reach the centre of the filter where we're drawn down the fuel pipes towards the carburettor. And as we get closer, we'd pass through an upward turn just before we enter the carburettor. And from here, we'd start to notice something in the distance. This is a special valve flap and allows us as fuel molecules a one-way passage into the carburettor. And the fuel has just travelled up this area here, through a fuel vein there, come underneath this valve flap here out of that hole. So when the fuel come under that flap there, it went into this area here. When this is sitting on there, it forms that compartment. And the fuel is starting to flood in, and it's being drawn this way by a suction pressure through this hole here. And as a fuel molecule, we are drawn down into the carburetor body. And as we get down here, we're pulled further through a hole on a vertical face. This brings us out into the fuel pump chamber, which is what has been drawing us into this point. Fuel has come down this fuel hole and out into the fuel pump area here, and it's this diaphragm that operates the fuel pump. Each time the fuel pump diaphragm rose, it created a vacuum behind it and pulled in fuel underneath it. And as the diaphragm lowered, it created a pushing pressure, forcing the fuel this way. And any fuel wanting to come back this way is stopped by the one-way valve flap that we've just come through. As the fuel pump diaphragm raises and lowers thousands of times per minute, it maintains that flow through the carburetor. So the rising of the diaphragm draws the fuel underneath it, towards another hole at the end of the fuel pump reservoir. And the following downward motion of the diaphragm pushes the fuel out of this fuel hole. Any damage or leaks in this diaphragm will reduce its pumping efficiency and cause engine problems such as bog down. This diaphragm gets its movement energy from the piston via a small air hole behind the diaphragm, which is part of the fuel pump diaphragm lid. And air pressure passes through this hole via the pulse line. And at the end of the pulse line, the piston can be seen raising and lowering. And as the piston raises, it draws air towards it, creates a vacuum, and as it lowers, it creates a positive pressure, pushing air back towards us. And that continues as the engine runs and the piston continues to raise and lower. And it's that air pressure from the piston lowering that pushes the diaphragm down, causing a pressure beneath it and forcing the fuel through the exit hole. And when the piston rises, creating a vacuum, the diaphragm is drawn back up. And so with each upward and downward motion of the piston, the diaphragm moves with it. And this pumps us through the exit into another compartment below the second one-way valve flap. And carried by the ever-building pressure from the fuel pump, we're forced right through. That's through there, and it's come up here, through that valve flap now. This brings us out into another compartment. Part of this lid, the recess there, when that fits on top, it forms the compartment. As the fuel flows in, pressure builds up and sends us down through another fuel hole into the carb body, where we're brought out into a lower compartment. And as the pressure builds up in here, we're pushed through another fuel hole. And in this compartment lies in front of us a special screen filter. This flat metal filter is the last filtration we go through as fuel molecules before we used in the engine. Any dirt or crud that managed to pass the fuel filter in the fuel tank now gets trapped here on the surface of this filter. And the fuel goes through its final purification before it's used in the engine. Having passed through it, we now flow down the long tube towards the needle valve. And when we reach it, pressures in the metering chamber above allow it to move back and let us right pass through, where it floods into the metering chamber under the metering diaphragm. And all the time, the needle valve has been carefully regulating the amount of fuel that enters this area. Vacuum pressures inside the metering chamber from the main jet caused the metering diaphragm to lower. As it did, it tilted back the metering lever. 
and lifted the metering needle, and it was that that allowed us fuel molecules to flood into the metering chamber. But now we're here, the vacuum from the main jet is also drawing us fuel molecules in. Now flowing down its chamber, the air from the inlet of the carburetor can be seen rushing past the end. And it's at this point that the fuel molecules in front of us can be seen joining the airflow. Any blockages in this pipe would starve the engine of fuel and affect its starting and running abilities. But the vacuum from the engine is pulling us through into the inlet tube of the carburetor near the Venturi. Down there and through out here into the Venturi right through towards the engine. Now mixed and atomized with the air, we head in towards the engine at high speed, and the throttle butterfly is in its open position allowing us through. This butterfly here. As we approach the piston that's moved upwards to draw us in. Now inside the engine's crankcase, and looking up in a split second, we can see the piston at its uppermost point, as well as the inlet port that we've just come through, and the transfer port that we're going to go through. And as the piston lowers, it starts to compress all of us fuel molecules together, before it blocks off the inlet port. As this pressure increases, we're forced through the open transfer port. As we travel up the port, it's not long before we can see an opening, and in that opening is the top of the piston. And as it continues to lower, we head on right in to the cylinder above it. And as we enter, we'd notice through the blizzard of fuel and air, the exhaust fumes leaving the exhaust port. And now the piston starts to rise, blocking off the exhaust port and pushing us up. And looking up as we're lifted, we can see the top of the cylinder and the bottom of the spark plug as we draw ever closer. And as we do, us fuel molecules are being completely pressed with the air before the spark plug is triggered and fire spreads out and ignites all the air and fuel in a huge controlled explosion. This has sent the piston back down as it was ignited and now we've changed composition. We've now become exhaust gases and as the piston now continues to lower fresh air and fuel comes from the transfer port and flushes us exhaust fumes out through the exhaust port. Now inside the exhaust muffler we head on through the fine meshing of the spark arrester. Too much coke and soot on the surface of this arrestor and it can cause problems such as bog down. But we travel right through into the final stages of the muffler and finally out of the engine. Now let's watch the animation run right through. And I'd like to personally thank you for watching this whole video through to the end. And if you do want to watch the full version of this video, then the link should be just here at the side. Please also have a look down at the description of the information I've got down there for you. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.